Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn at Cast Iron Cookware, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. Today I'm going to be cooking corn on the cob, and I'm going to be using my Lodge enameled Dutch oven, and I'm going to be doing that coming right up. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's purchased my product, Easy Beasy Cast Iron Seasoning. The purchase of this product helps keep this channel going, and I just want to say thank you again so very much. So let's get on into our video. There's all kinds of ways to cook corn on the cob. You can do it on the grill, you can do it in the oven, but I'm going to go with the most simple version, the one that I use for our 4th of July celebration. I'm just going to do a water boil, but there is a little bit of a technique when it comes to doing that, that really makes a huge difference. You know, I don't like my corn all soggy and mushy, and I don't like it where it's so undercooked that it's just like eating a raw ear of corn. I like it in that perfect little sweet spot. We're gonna fill it about three quarters of the way full, or maybe a little more, but we're gonna be putting five ears of corn in it, and, uh, I think once we fill it three quarters of the way, put five ears in there, it's going to be full. We don't want to overflow. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and get our gas going. Okay, we're up to a good boil. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and cut my stove eye off carefully drop in my ears of corn and then I'm going to put the lid on it set my timer for 12 and a half minutes now I have five ears in there and I'm going to set it for 12 and a half minutes now with the cast iron it's going to retain heat quite a bit we covered it so the steam would actually, you know, work to our benefit as well. If you want it really, really crunchy, like almost raw, you can go ahead and take it out of 10 minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and go 12 and a half. Now you may want to go 15 minutes. Now if you want to put two or three other ears in there, you could probably do nine or so. And if you do that, go about 15 minutes just to make sure that everything is cooked. Now, if you want to go more than, you know, nine ears of corn, you may want to do two pots. Just split them in half if you're going to be doing more. Now, this 4th of July, we cooked about, uh, I think, 15 ears. So I used three different pots. I just put five in each one. And that worked out great. Everything was pretty much even. So we're going to come back in 12 and a half minutes. I just split the difference between 10 and 15 because I want to get mine just a little more than that edge of cooking. I want to get a little more, not mushy, I still like the good crunch, but I want the insides to be a little more cooked. So we're going to come back in 12 and a half minutes, now it's more like 10 minutes, and we'll take a look, give it a taste test. Now I will say this, we didn't add any salt to the water. Now I know you're supposed to add salt to boiling water to give it flavor, but it has something to do with the reaction of the corn so we didn't put any salt in the water so it's just plain water and that's it so we'll check it out in about 10 minutes all right it's been 12 and a half minutes let's take these babies out and we're going to give it a taste test one thing i like about cooking them this way is they're not so hot that you just can't hold them. <laughs> but if they are too hot, I got a little cheater trick. Here we go, we're ready to go. Let me give us a shot. Perfect crunch. Now you can add butter and salt. I just wanted to taste the corn and the texture just like it is here. Got a great texture. The cob is not so hot it burns your lips like it would be if you boiled it. But uh, really, really good. 
turned out great. I think the 12 and a half minute is just right for me. Now, if you do this and you like it a little more on the mushy side, which I don't like it mushy at all. I like it crunch to it. This is perfect. 12 and a half minutes in the Dutch oven after the water's boiled. But I am going to add some butter and some salt to finish this one off. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I promise I'll keep more coming. And I just want to say thank you again for watching Cast Iron Cookware. Before you go, I'd like to share something with you really quickly. In Psalms chapter 121, verse 1 and 2, it says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. I just want to say, share the word and be a blessing.